Confederate believes in people first. I don't come in with, you know, okay, this is the standard and this is how you need to get certified. Now, what we have in between is the support program and that's where I play an important role and I really like doing that because I feel that that is where you are helping each factory, each mill to sort of uh, build a better working environment. Huh? There are women who've come back and say, like, after attending a couple of trainings, we're much more confident now, we are able to communicate better. If there is some problem, we are the first ones to come forward and voice our grievance. You are indirectly or directly sort of building confidence, building self-esteem in workers. Once that happens, the whole uh, working environment, the working space sort of changes. And at the same time, if you're working with the management to set things right, then there are real wonders that can happen in factories. I mean, I have seen places where, you know, the culture has completely changed. I feel that it's very important that the senior management, the middle management who actually run the business need to believe that yeah, this is the culture we are going to set for ourselves and these are the things we are going to do, you know, however hard. I think once that belief is there, then I have seen that things actually fall in place. See, the key word here for me is sustainability. We make basically baby clothes and kids and a little bit of adult clothing exclusively from organic cotton. Almost the whole product is made by hand. We have 800 to 1000 people. Uh, we have a huge social responsibility. I strongly believe that uh, Pure Courts is a team and it's not just me or my colleagues or the seniors. We all are equally important for the whole machinery to work. That is why we are in the process of constant engagement with each other. So we have trainings for the middle management, for the supervisors, for the workers, we have get-togethers. Each person has uh, contributes something when in that exchange and that gives a kind of a dignity a kind of worthiness to all the people involved that is much more rewarding for them than any pay hike or any incentive to feel worthy of what they are doing and to be respected for what they're doing gives a, a big motivation and happiness to people so we try to achieve that. We have a huge number. The biggest advantage of fair trade I have felt is that we want to do many things on different fronts, but we are not sure how to do them. But when fair trade comes in with a professional agenda and a system, an official system which has been implemented, well thought of, and they put it in front of us, we are assured that, okay, this is the right way to do. Fair trade has also shown us a path or a way to start implementing living wages, which is a, a very integral part of the fair trade textile standards. We are already taking steps towards that. And it's not for a particular label or a particular marketing we want to do it. I feel it needs to be done. I feel it's my responsibility towards my people first. So uh, a good, happy, healthy worker will produce a very positive product.
compañero, buenos días. Buenos días. Bueno, sí, yo quiero de pronto... Es cierto que nosotros hace mucho tiempo venimos trabajando, eh, digamos, sin salud, digámoslo así. Porque a veces nos pagan proporcionales, pagan unos días unos, y así. Nos han ido sorteando desde aproximadamente unos siete meses. Eh, hay compañeros que llevamos para pa tres vacaciones y tampoco se soluciona nada. Lo que dice el empresario es que no hay plata, que está la finca está eh, en quiebra. Pero esa es la, la situación que tenemos nosotros, compañeros. En este momento estamos sin, sin salud y así le trabajamos. Y por eso me gustaría de que aquí que están los representantes de la pues, tres y esos, pues ojalá esa finquita la pudiera también meter ahí a ese mercado justo. Me gustaría mucho. Gracias, compañero. Eh, esa persona, como él, hay muchos eh, que están en esa preocupación por la baja de precios y que el, el patrón... Eh, le dice a sus trabajadores yo no le puedo pagar vacaciones no le puedo pagar seguridad social no le puedo pagar su salario porque me están pagando muy barata la caja eh, y eso no me permite a mí cumplirle a ustedes entonces el trabajador que hace eh, se desespera y conlleva a una inestabilidad y no va a ser igualmente productivo aquí hay gente de toda parte del norte de Urabá, de Montería de Antioquia, en fin que vienen a trabajar acá, pero tienen la familia allá y cada, cada que cogen el paguito, allá le tienen que girar. Si la baja de los precios del banano se mantiene y va a largo plazo, la zona va a entrar en una crisis financiera. Aquí lo que va a reinar es la violencia, porque estamos rodeados de cordillera y estamos rodeados de narcotráfico. Entonces aquí lo que va a reinar es el narcotráfico y va a ser una, una tierra de nadie. Entonces el gobierno sí hay que presionar mucho a los gobiernos, porque no solamente es de Colombia, sino también es de Alemania o, o los gobiernos europeos para que consideren también esos precios y miren que estamos afectando y si le quieren aportar a la paz, que es lo más importante. Por eso nosotros como sindicato seguimos defendiendo el comercio justo porque es una bendición para los trabajadores en todas sus partes social y académicamente.